guys, so today I'm going to be doing a collective haul video of things that I bought basically with my birthday money that I received on my birthday, which was on March 1st, and I turned 17. And it's like a ton of stuff. I didn't realize that I bought that much stuff until I actually laid it out for this video. So hopefully this video isn't too long because my haul videos always seem to get so long. So I'm just going to get started. So the first place I went was Forever 21, and I only got one thing there. I didn't really see that much stuff that I liked there, which I was surprised because usually I want to buy, like, the whole store. But I found this, and it's a polka dot shirt, and it's pink with polka dots, and it's kind of a cropped shirt, and it's a little baggy, but I love it, and I think it's really adorable, and I'm really into the polka dot pattern for spring. And then the next place I went was Love Culture, and at Love Culture, I actually got this shirt that I'm wearing right now. So I'll get up so you guys can see a closer look of it. So it's just a sheer blouse, and you can see it's see-through, and it has button detailing running down it. And then at the bottom of the shirt, it has this little thing like this where it ties off. So I just tied it into a bow, and I think it looks... So cute and so adorable, and the color is kind of like this taupey brown, kind of tannish color, and it kind of matches my background. And I actually got a new background, which you guys probably notice. And so I'd love if you guys could leave a comment down below letting me know if you like this background or if you like the old background better, or if you don't like either and you'd like to see like a different background. So just let me know what you guys think in the down bar. Or not the down bar, I mean the comment section. So, the next thing that I got I Love Culture was polka dot shorts, and I've just been so obsessed with polka dots lately. I think that's just what it is, because, like, three of the things that I bought were polka dots, but this is just so, so adorable. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right there, it just has a big bow on the front, and then it's kind of like a dark navy color with white polka dots, and it is just so, so cute. And I just love this. I was kind of going for, like, the antique kind of old vintage -y look. I thought that these shorts were, like, really vintage looking. And I just really love, like, the old girly vintage style. And that's just kind of what I've been into lately. Then the next place I went was Cotton Closet. And Cotton Closet is basically just a place where you bring in nice clothes. And they only take nice clothes that are, like, brand names. And what they do is... They marked down the prices on them, so I went there to see if I could just get any good deals on anything. And so what I found was this dress, and it is so adorable. It has stitching right there, and it has this really cool design. And then at the bottom of it, the dress, it also has this really cute stitch design that's kind of gold right there and white. And then... It's really tight fitting at the waist, which I love. And this was originally from, let's see if I can find the tag. I know there's a tag on here somewhere. Why can't I find the tag? This was originally from the Banana Republic, and I think, I don't really shop at the Banana Republic that much, but I think that their clothes are pretty expensive, and I got this for about $20, so I think that's a really good deal for where this is from. Okay, and then I went to Sephora, and I picked up some magnetic nail polish, and I've just seen this a lot on YouTube. Tons of people have been raving about it, and I just thought it was a really cool idea. I mean, it's magnetic nail polish. How cool is that? And I was really excited to try it, so I bought this. And I actually tried it on my nails. I'm not wearing it right now, but I was wearing it, and it is so cool. But I told all my friends about it that I got magnetic nail polish, and they actually thought that my nails were, like, magnetic. So they, like, asked me to, like, stick it to stuff to see if it would stick. But really, basically, what magnetic nail polish does 
is if your nail polish is still wet and you put a magnet over it, it makes this kind of rippled effect. And it's really cool. If you guys would like me to do a video on it, kind of like a demo and a review on it, then just leave a comment down below and let me know. And then the other thing I got were these Sugar Rose lip balms. And these are just the mini kind and it's the present that I got because at Sephora, if you're a beauty insider, then they give you a present on your birthday. So this is the present that they got me and I'm actually really loving the Sugar Rose one and it looks like this and it's tinted and I just really love the color here I'll swatch it for you guys and it's a very sheer color it's not that dark I don't know if you guys can see it there but it is so so pretty and then the other one is just clear but they both taste so so good yeah they smell really good too so that's all I got from Sephora I was kind of trying to limit the makeup that I bought because I always tend to spend all of my money on makeup, so I was trying to buy just more clothes than makeup. Okay, and then I went to Target and I picked up two nail polishes. The first one is from the Kardashian OPI collection, and it's in Rainbow in the Skyly, and I just think this is such a pretty color. It's just iridescent with multicolored sparkles in it, and it is so pretty. I'm actually wearing it on my nails over gold nail polish. If you guys can see that. Yeah, I love it. Such a gorgeous color. And then, actually, the other nail polish I got is from Revlon, and it's in the color 925 Gold Coin. It just looks like this, and that's actually the other color that I'm wearing under the Rainbow in the Sky Lee glitter. And actually, this hand, I didn't put glitter on. I just kind of painted them gold. I was kind of on this hand going for like a St. Patrick's Day theme. See how this one's just green and then it has like the sparkles over it. But I kind of got lazy and just didn't do my other hand. <laughs> These colors are so, so pretty though. And I just love them. And I think they go really good together. And I wasn't even planning on buying them to like go together. But they actually go so well together. And then the next thing that I bought has been raved so much on YouTube. And so I'm so excited that I finally got my hands on one of them. And it's the Dream Bouncy Blush by Maybelline. Can't talk today. It looks like this. And mine is in the color 15 Rose Petal. Oh, I can't get it open. And this is the color. It's so, so pretty. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. And as you guys can see, I've used up so much of it already. So there is the color up there, if you guys can see it. It's a very light color. It doesn't show up that well on my cheeks, but I found that if you apply it like this to your cheeks and don't use your finger, if you just kind of pat it on like that, then it actually works a lot better. I actually learned that trick from Sarah Hart Sparkles, and so I'll leave her YouTube channel down below because her channel is awesome and she's so awesome. So go check her out. And then something else that's also been raved on YouTube a lot has been the color tattoos by iStudio. And I think these are by Maybelline too. Yeah, Maybelline's just been having really good products out lately. So this is the color tattoo. And it's in the color Bad to the Bronze number 25. It is such a pretty color. And I've been so lazy for school lately and I haven't had time to do my makeup. So what I do is I just use this as my eyeshadow instead of a base. Because you can use it as a base, but I use it as eyeshadow and it stays on all day and is so nice. Then the next thing I got was also a Maybelline product and it's the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. I've been really wanting to try this out and I'm so glad I did. I really like the brush. I think this is really good for lengthening kind of what the brush looks like. So that's everything that I got at Target. Then the last place I went was the flea market. And the flea market's basically just like a big garage sale, I guess. And you just go there and you bargain with people and you buy stuff. And so I bought a lot of jewelry and I bought one shirt. So I'm going to show you guys that stuff now. Alright, so I'll start off with the shirt that I got. And this is what it looks like. Just give you overview. It is so pretty. The back of it has lace detailing and then the front is kind of ruffly right here if you guys can see. 
and the ruffles are actually also lace which is so cute and then attached to it is this flower and you can actually remove the flower if you want to but I think it's so cute like this this is just so so adorable and that's another thing that I've been really into lately is lace I'm just obsessed with lace so I think that this is just so so cute and then everything else I got was jewelry and I actually got really good prices on all of this stuff. So the first thing I got were these earrings and this bracelet. And they came in a pack. And this, right here, these two things, cost a dollar. I got a dollar for earrings and bracelets. And they're really nice earrings and bracelets, too. And I love the color. It's kind of a, like, taupey, bronzy kind of brown color. And it almost matches this. My favorite color is gold, so that's kind of why all this stuff is kind of goldish, taupey colored. I think it is so adorable. And then right here, it has like yellow beads. And I don't know, I just fell in love with the color. That's why I really wanted to get this. And it was a dollar. That is such a good deal. And then the next thing I got, I fell in love with. I love these earrings so much. I think they are so cute. There are these greenish blue colored earrings and they're heart shaped and they're actually oops dropped one and they're actually made of wood which I think is really cool. They actually feel really light and then in the middle it's white with kind of it kind of looks like a lacy design I guess but these are so so adorable and so cute and I just fell in love with these. I don't know. I haven't seen anything like this before. And since I got it at the flea market, like no one else will have these earrings. And so I think it's kind of special because I hate when I wear the same thing as other people. So I've been looking for a bow ring. That's just been in style lately is big bows. And I've been obsessed with big bows and I've been really wanting a bow ring and I found one. And I just think that it's so unique and I haven't seen one like this. It's so, so cute. So this is what it looks like. So, so pretty. And it's kind of big, but I like it that way. And it just has a little diamond in the middle. I don't know, so, so adorable. And then the next ring that I got is on my hand right now. And I just love the color. I just fell in love with this color. It's like a jade green color. And I just love the design on it, too. It has, like, wire going all through it, and I don't know. I just think it's so, so cute. All the stuff I got is so cute. And actually, I forgot to tell you the price of the earrings and the bow, but the earrings and the bow were each a dollar, and then this was also a dollar. Then the next thing I got was this bracelet. I think this is so cute. It's just black and white. And when the light hits the white, it just makes this pretty rainbow color, and I just love it. And I also got this for only a dollar. And then I have even more jewelry, because everything costs, like, only a dollar, so I kind of went crazy buying all this jewelry. So the next thing I got was this silver ring, and it kind of has, like, a flower design on it. But I think it's gorgeous, and just, like, when the light hits it in certain places, it makes, like, this dark gray kind of dark silver color which I think is so so pretty here's a closer look but I just think that the detail on it is just gorgeous and then the last ring I got was this ring and it's just a heart ring with diamonds around it. and I think it is so simple but it just is so cute and this kind of also reminds me of like that antique kind of girly look so that was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have your own haul video, then I'd love if you leaved it as a video response below, and I'd love to watch it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!